Hey folks, the Surface Pro 11 and Surface Laptop 7 are the two new Copilot Plus PCs that Microsoft has released. The Surface Laptop 7 is slightly larger and comes in two sizes, 13.8 inches and 15 inches, while the Surface Pro 11 is a 13-inch 2-in-1 gadget. We've just had a brief opportunity to use the two devices during the launch event at Microsoft's Seattle headquarters, but we've compared their specifications and outlined the most important variations between them below. After we've given the gadgets a comprehensive evaluation, we'll update this video with more information. To find out more about Microsoft's recently revealed Surface Pro 11 and Surface Laptop 7, continue watching. The Surface Pro 11 and Surface Laptop 7 vary primarily in that the former is a two-in-one device and the latter is a normal laptop. When combined with an extra keyboard, a two-in-one device can be used as both a tablet and a laptop. The Surface Pro, the 11th of May, be utilized with a number of keyboards, such as the Surface Pro Signature and the new Surface Pro Flex, which has Bluetooth and can be used without the tablet. The Surface Slim Pens can also be used to sketch on touchscreen displays. It's important to keep in mind that while the Surface Laptop 7 comes with everything you need to utilize it as a laptop, these accessories are all sold separately. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X Plus or Snapdragon X Elite processor is the sole choice available for the Surface Pro 11 and the 13.8-inch Surface Laptop 7, whereas the Snapdragon X Elite is the only processor option for the 15-inch Surface Laptop 7. Although we haven't thoroughly benchmarked any of the devices ourselves, the Snapdragon X Elite is Qualcomm's most potent processor ever created for Windows and boasts the best-in-class CPU with high performance and remarkable power efficiency. Along with its cutting-edge responsiveness, Qualcomm claims the chip is designed to handle demanding multitasking workloads across productivity. That being said, the Snapdragon X Plus processor is also an option for the Surface Pro 11 and 13.8-inch Surface Laptop 7. The Snapdragon X Elite offers more processing power and is better suited for demanding tasks and gamers. The Surface Laptop 7 has a greater battery life than the Surface Pro 11, depending on the size. The 13.8-inch model can play videos for up to 20 hours and browse the web for up to 13 hours, but the 15-inch model can play videos for an incredible 22 hours and browse the web for up to 15 hours. By contrast, the Surface Pro 11 provides up to 11 hours of web browsing and up to 14 hours of video playback. To find out for ourselves, we'll need to perform our standard battery tests, of course. When using the Surface Pro 11, which is powered by the Snapdragon X Elite processor, the screen is available with an OLED HDR display. In other cases, it is an LCD HDR display. Since the OLED panel has a higher contrast ratio of 1 million to 1 than the LCD screen, which has a lower ratio of 1200 to 1, the OLED screen ought to provide deeper blacks and superior overall picture quality. Instead, both Surface Laptop 7S are equipped with HDR compatibility, which should result in deeper blacks, clearer whites, and more vivid colors. All Surface Pro 11 and Surface Laptop 7 models, regardless of size or processor, are optimized with Microsoft's multi-touch screen technology, PixelSense Flow. The starting price for the Surface Pro 11 and 13.8-inch Surface Laptop 7 is £1049, while the 15-inch Laptop 7 is £1349. All of the devices are scheduled to go on sale in mid-June 2024 and are currently available for pre-order. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I'll be waiting for them in the comments below. Have a nice day and God bless you.